Hyundai i30N 2018 review. What is it? The i30N is the first hot hatch from a mark with a full work century in the World Rally Championship, and therefore something to be taken very seriously indeed. That Hyundai's aim has been to cram in as much performance for the least possible cost to buyers should also have your ears pricked up. Why now? Well, the brand is on something of a roll, recording an 87% increase in European sales in the past five years. To build on that success and translate rally podiums into profit, it's now launching a performance arm, N. Enter Albert Biermann, longtime boss of BMW's performance arm, M. He's the type of man who expects the escape off button in a car to actually mean off, in the i30N, it does, and yet recognizes that, in 2017, a five-door hot hatch needs to be usable to be a hit in showrooms. This machine is very much his baby and the German's presence is a major reason for optimism about its ability to entertain. The fundamental i30N package is nothing out of the ordinary. It's a five-door hatch with a turbocharged 2.0-liter engine driving the front wheels. What is rather unusual is the level of hardware on offer for modest outlet, with the 24,995 pounds base model getting to 47 bhp, an electronic limited slip differential and three-way adaptive suspension. An optional performance package sees those figures increase to 27,995 pounds and 271 bhp. As for pace, the standard car hits 62 miles per hour from rest in 6.4 seconds, while the performance model shaves 0.3 seconds from that time. Both will hit 155 miles per hour and manage around 40 miles per gallon combined, says Hyundai. The five-door body shell is the same as that used for the standard i30, with Hyundai claiming it to be already adequately stiff, the end gets underbody strut braces, nevertheless. Wider wheel arches have been grafted on and the end car sits up to 8mm lower, 